Today is Friday, December 18th. <coughs> the Friday of the third week of Advent. And the Magnificat Meditation. is on page, the bottom of page 267. St. Joseph's righteousness leads him to protect Mary from shame, even before he knew the full story. In other words, God had formed Joseph with a heart that would not seek revenge or dwell on the apparent failures of others. Thus, when the angel appears to Joseph, he is ready, as always, to do what is just and right. We welcome the Savior into our lives by imitating Joseph's purity and docility, by loving Mary, and by saying the holy name. <coughs> and as we light our three Advent candles, the two purple and the one rose, let us sing number 20, on page 178. O come, O come, Emmanuel. And the O antiphon for today is O Adonai, O Lord. O Adonai, and leader of the house of Israel, who appeared in the bush to Moses in a flame of fire, and gave him the law on Sinai. Come and deliver us with an outstretched arm. <clears throat> oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. The entrance antiphon found in the Magnificat and in the <coughs> Missile Hymnal on page 128. Christ, our King, is coming. He is the Lamb foretold by John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the light awaited by the patriarchs and prophet and matriarchs of old. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light awaited and prophesied by the prophets of old, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light welcomed into the lives of Mary and Joseph of old. <clears throat> and the brilliant light 
we await coming in glory to judge the living and the dead and to wipe every tear from every repented face. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the readings begin in the Magnificat on page 268. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah from the 23rd chapter, the 5th through the 8th verses. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. And in his days Judah shall be saved, Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. Therefore the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north, and from all the lands to which I banished them and they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 72, from Psalm 72. The refrain. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor and the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. A reading from the book of Hebrew, the book of the letter to the Hebrews from chapter 12, beginning with the 18th verse. This can be found in the Magnificat on page 273. You have not approached that mountain which will be touched and a blazing fire and a gloomy darkness and storm. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem and countless angels in festal gathering, and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, and God the judge of all, and the spirits of the just made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O leader of the house of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Alleluia, 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. From Matthew, the first chapter, the 18th to the 25th verses. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mary gets few speaking parts in the Gospel, but Joseph doesn't get any. Joseph the Silent, he's been called. But he is Joseph the Strong, Joseph the Virtuous, he is called the just, and because he was a righteous man, he didn't want to expose Mary to a possible lynching by a mob, but was going to break the engagement off quietly. But he, like his namesake, Joseph, son of Jacob, of the book of Genesis, was one who listened to his dreams. And here an angel comes to him to tell him that what Mary is saying is true. And he is a person of faith rather than saying like Scrooge about the a vision of Marley's ghost. That there's more of gravy than the grave about you. Though he had faith, faith in the promise. And he addressed his son of David. His father was Jacob Levi, not uh, David. Why is he called son of David? Because he is of the line of King David. And so he, as the foster father, would be fulfilling the prophecy of that the one from the line of David would be forever on the throne. And if he acknowledges this child, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus. For traditionally, it was the father who first spoke the name, and this is the name given, Joshua, the Lord saves because he will save his people from their sins. And so the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah, that the virgin, uh, in Hebrew that Alma, which is maiden, or, and it could even just mean young woman, but translated into the Greek Parthenos, a virgin, like Parthenon, that's the place of the virgin, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, God with us. And God is with us. In the joys and hopes of this life, in the sorrows and struggles of this life, God is with us. Jesus especially, God incarnate, who knows our feelings, who knows our struggles, who knows the burden of being a mortal human, who knew poverty, who knew rejection, 
who knew the whole gamut of human feeling and struggle. He is the victor, and he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and to wipe every tear from every eye. For he is, Emmanuel, God with us. Let us turn as the mystical body of Christ, as the communion of saints, to our Savior Jesus, Emmanuel, the Christ, long awaited by the prophets, by the patriarchs, and by the forebearers, by the Anawim, the lowly of the Lord. For the church in the world, the nation, and in our parish and community, for the unity of the church, for the overcoming of all divisions among Christians. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Archbishop, James Hickey, our pastor, Damien, my abbot, all bishops, priests, deacons, monastics, and religious. For all who shepherd the flock of Christ, for all who serve, in the church for the whole people of God let us pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for our nation and all nations and peoples for all who govern or influence especially our president Congress Supreme Court local and state judiciaries and legislatures our mayors and governors and also those in the media that they and educators that they may promote justice freedom peace growth in virtue and the protection of all human life from the moment of conception to natural death let us pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for all who are in situations locations of vocations of danger especially our armed forces, our police, our firefighters, our EMTs and first responders, our physicians and nurses and orderlies in this time of pandemic. For all who protect us, for their protection and strength, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our families, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and enemies, our associates, and all people in our lives, and for the needs of all people throughout the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick of body, mind, and spirit, and for all who suffer in any way, and for all who care for them and care about them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from war or disasters, for the homeless, the defenseless, the unemployed, the, the lonely and the desperate, for the addicted and the depressed and anxious, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased whom we commend to the Lord's mercy, especially our ancestors, are the deceased of our families, friends, enemies, neighbors, co-workers, associates, and all the people who have passed the roads of our lives, for all who have died today or will die today, for all who have died in fear, loneliness, uh, feeling abandoned, for those who have died in war or by any form of violence, by murder and suicide, 
for those who have died in the state of grace, but unprepared, for those who have died without prayer, without a religious burial, or without a mass celebrated for them, for all the souls of purgatory, especially those most in need of our prayers, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who grieve or suffer any loss, that they may know the comfort of the approach of our Savior Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all our personal needs and just intentions, as we unite in prayer partnership with the whole body of Christ, especially our ever-Virgin, blessed Mary of Nazareth, Mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, true God and true man, Saint Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, Saint Patrick, patron of the Archdiocese of Boston, Saint Batolph, patron of the Boston area, the Maccabee martyrs, the uh, prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah, and all the sainted prophets and forebearers of Christ. For Saint Sebastian and martyred companions, Rufus and Zosimus martyrs, Moses of Africa martyr, Modestus of Jerusalem bishop, Quintus, Suplicius and companions martyrs, Theotimus and Basilian martyrs, Victor and companions martyrs, Ausentius of Mopsuetia, bishop, Gatian of Tour, bishop, Boga Gizil, abbot, Flannan of Killalo, bishop, Desiderius of Fontenelle, monk, Weinbald of he Heidenheim, abbot, Augustine Moy, Peter Duong, Peter Truat, and Paul Mi, martyrs of Vietnam, and all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God, to you, O Lord our God. O oh, Father, we are wait the long-awaited ruler of the universe, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through the example and intercession and perseverance of Mary and Joseph, prepare our hearts to receive Emmanuel, God with us, with joy, and to serve you faithfully, who live and reign with the same our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, as one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, they become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Love me, don't you? Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longing for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> Eucharistic Prayer 2. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of the Lord be with you. Advent, peace of the Lord be with you. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Come, O Lord. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Communion Antiphon. His name will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Some sumus domini puramenti capiamos, et de muni temporale fiat nobis remedium sempiternum. What is past all that is food, O oh Lord, when we possess in purity of heart, and what is given to us in time, be our healing for eternity.
Let us pray our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray a prayer of our Novena of Christmas. O Emmanuel, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you condescended to become one of us, taking our nature and our flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, born in poverty and humility. Grant that we may be humble and in our joy at your coming as we prepare to celebrate your birthday that we may ever give ourselves as gifts as living sacrifices to you and to the father and the spirit we ask this in your name lord jesus and we present to you the petition of this novena Grant that we may be filled with the grace of your incarnation. We ask this of the Father in your name. If you are our one mediator with him in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor for the coming solemnities of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful Lord, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of the only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Eternal rest grant to our deceased, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Lord Jesus, you shed your precious blood for them. So grant them eternal rest. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me, even if he dies, shall live. And whoever lives and has faith in me will never perish. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who are everywhere present and filling all things, O treasury of blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. O Eucharistic Lord Jesus, I believe and profess that you are truly present in the most holy Eucharist, body, blood, soul, and divinity. And I thank you for the gift of yourself in this sacrament. And may I be a channel of this grace that you pour out through the Eucharist to all I meet. And may you ever be adored here and in all the tabernacles and altars throughout the world. And upon your majestic throne in heaven that you share equally with the Father and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. So let's see who's waving. Imran Mushtag. Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Father Paul Ring, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Terry Coakley, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Walter Byrne, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Linda Brasher, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Sheila Chambers over there in County Cork, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Kate O'Neill, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Priscilla Rio, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Barbara Black Labembery, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. And have a wonderful day filled with the wonders, the everyday wonders of God in our lives. For Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. The Lord is coming. Veni Domine Jesu. Come, Lord Jesus. Come.